The old saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how to clean up that garbage before it even gets into your Dynamics or Power Apps database. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to validate the addresses coming into Dynamics 365 or into your Dataverse system to show you how to improve that data before it even gets saved. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, first of all, enable the feature, and then we'll go ahead and show you the impact of that feature. This is a preview feature at time of this recording, but it's pretty awesome. So let's jump into it. So what I have open right now is a contact record from within uh, a model-driven application or Dataverse or Dynamics 365. And you'll notice that when I go in here and type in some junk like this right here, uh, essentially it lets me put in that junk. Now, because this is an email column, if I were to put something that's really junky, it will complain at that point. But what if I want to not just take care of the obvious things, but the less obvious things? Well, that's where, that's where this new feature comes in. The first thing we want to do is we want to turn this on at the environment level. So to do that, we're going to go to, back to make.powerapps.com and I'll hit the gearbox in the top right and go to the admin center. Once I do that, then we're going to go choose our environment under environments on the left side. We'll find our little mock-up environment here somewhere. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go over to settings in this environment. So up top, we'll go to settings. We'll then go to products and then features. And this is where you can turn on at the environment level, certain types of features. Some of the cool features like this will be like address uh, mapping components doing turning on full. But in our case, at time of this recording, at the very bottom here, we'll see data validation. I'm gonna flip that to true and you'll notice it is a preview feature and then save it. Without this turned on here, time of this recording, it may give you issues later. Now we're ready to go ahead and do this at the app level. So go and find the solution that has your model driven app or your Dynamics app into it. I'm gonna open up this solution and I'll edit this application, this model driven app. And here's how easy this is. Once I have this open, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the settings button up top in the model driven application. Once I do that, I'll go over to uh, upcoming features, scroll down, and we'll see our, uh, a few things here. First of all, we have smart email validation. I'll turn that on. I'm also gonna while I'm at it, turn on the new look and feel of, of these model driven apps. These two features right here are pretty darn slick here. And they are both preview features, as you can imagine. All right, uh, once I hit that, I'll hit save. Give that a few seconds, and then republish the application. And that's all there is to it. Now, for this to work, the, date, the, the column must be, an, uh, must be flagged as an email address. So when you're creating your table and you have a text column that's an email address, make sure you, you truly mark it as an email address. So what I mean by that is when you go to, five, go to new column, you'll see text, and then underneath text, uh, you type it as an email address, as a phone number, or whatever. So now that we've done that, we should be able to play this application same application we had open before. We'll open up our Hans Zimmer character right here. And then uh, you'll notice the new interface here is already being shown, these little, little vertical bars here. It's giving us a little bit extra fluid controls here. We've got uh, a little more uh, cleaner look and feel around things. That's that, that's that toggle I turned off in the new look and feel. But on the email address, if I go ahead and type in you know, junk at junk.com, it will validate that email address and we should see it. That actually probably is a legitimate email address. But if I do something like uh, uh, spamalot.com or something like that, it will immediately go out there and say, hey, there's no such domain. There actually is one. That's, a, that's play on broad, Broadway there. There we go. So it recognized the domain name was not available in this case. It also, now it's not going to make sure that there's somebody at that email address, but for things like, uh, like uh, the, the throwaway domain names, um, and I can't think of one on top of my head right now, but things like throwaway domain names or freemiums type, type stuff like that, you can flag those as not allowed to go into your system. So there's, there's certain email addresses you can buy that are just, just temporary email addresses that'll work for one form only. And this will validate that for you. So this makes sure that there's no junk inside there. So again, just to recap, there are three steps we have to do. We have to turn it on at the environment level, 
but then we turn it on at the app level, and then we have to make sure that that application, uh, the, the, the email addresses within that application, ha are, are classified as email addresses. Now, this is part of our, our training that we do at Pragmatic Works. We do training like this all the time around dynamics and model-driven apps and Dataverse and everything about, about, about Power Platform. If you, if you want to hear more about that, please join us at PragmaticWorks.com and please do subscribe to this video to help us build more videos like this. Have a great day.